time for a body update. So, you can see it's a lot better than it was. So the improvements I made to my diet and the little bits of exercise that I've been doing have obviously been working um, and just generally getting back into a routine. So yeah, I've been kind of coming down with something for a while now and I did come down with it. Um, I was really ill yesterday. Uh, <clears throat> um, I feel so much better today and I think that's just because I plied myself with nutrients. Um, I made like a lentil dal with um, lots of greens and peppers in it um, and I had lots of coconut oil and honey, raw honey and lemon and then I had some greens powder, I had like a full scoop, normally I don't have a full scoop but just because I feel like I don't really need it. I think I get a lot of nutrients from my diet anyway so um, I just use that as a kind of top up but yesterday I had a huge amount of that and I had this kind of alkaline powder that I got in a um, subscription box. It was really high in vitamin C so I had a couple of scoops of that and I made sure to take my probiotics and olive leaf extract and fish oil and I've been drinking so so much. I've just wanted to drink like herbal tea or water or something and it kind of reminded me that I used to drink a lot more fluids than I have been recently. Um, I think you can kind of just forget to drink and drinking is definitely one of the most helpful things for weight loss. Um, you know you just don't feel as hungry and you can go longer between meals so that's definitely something I'm gonna take from this illness and help me going forward. The big thing I've picked up on recently um, where my tummy's been sore and it's been quite bloated because of a lot of the foods I've been having and the way I've been living. The biggest thing I've noticed has been the stress um, because I've had lots and lots of work on as well um, I think just with the stress of that and trying to look after the kids and everything and run the house. My stomach has just been really hard, bloated and sore, um, even on days when I've been eating quite well. So I think that's an interesting thing to note that, you know, you can have the best diet and the best exercise routine and have no toxins in your house and everything. But if you're stressed, then you're not actually taking care of yourself. You know, all those other things, you're probably not absorbing nutrients as well if you're stressed. Um, your digestion's all over the place, your uh, bacterial levels are all over the place. You know, your bad bacteria is thriving, your good bacteria are, are being defeated by the bad bacteria. So relaxation is just as important as all these other things. Um, I had a set amount of things that I needed to get done by a certain time, I did those things and now I've been sure to take a real step back and just have some rest. Um, obviously with the illness as well, I took a little bit of time yesterday to just relax and not do a lot. Um, but I'm just going to take things a bit easier now. Um, I really enjoy doing the vlogging and the videos and stuff so I don't really feel like that's work, it doesn't stress me out, it actually kind of relaxes me so I'm hoping that I'm going to be doing a little bit more of these videos um, in between the busy periods just for something fun to do really, for a hobby. Oh, the other thing I had um, for illness yesterday was my elderberry syrup. Um, it'd be great to hear suggestions for what other people do when they're ill. What do you take? Do you have any natural remedies? So my mission for today is I want to go make some rosemary water. Um, I tried some in a bottle, like in a glass bottle that you can buy, and it was so good. I just, I never would have thought rosemary water would be so amazing, but it just tasted so good. So I looked up the benefits of rosemary. You have antioxidants and anti-inflammatory compounds. They're great for digestion, great enhancing memory and concentration, preventing brain aging, neurological protection, cancer, protection against macular de degeneration. There's just a whole list of things that it's great for. So I think I'm gonna be introducing a little bit more rosemary water into my life. So I'm just gonna grab some rosemary from the front of the house, grab some cold water from the Bibo and stick that in my Vitamix. Um, let's see how it goes.
Um, like I don't think I can go back to plain water now. Ah, so I'm going to enjoy the rest of my rosemary water and try and maybe keep today a little bit chilled still because I'm still getting over this illness. I've got a tendency to kind of not be very good at sitting about and getting better um, so I quite often just get up and carry on as normal start running about and um, sometimes I think that is good because there's proven benefits with exercise um, boosting your immune system and you know they say now that it's actually better to get up and run about when you're ill rather than just laying about feeling sorry for yourself definitely with your state of mind I think there's a big benefit there but to know that there's actually like a biological benefit as well it kind of makes sense I mean if you see kids they don't lay about when they're ill they run around and they just don't like illnesses don't really seem to face them too much they seem to just pick it up and go to school and carry on and you know it's not often that my kids will be ill enough that I'll think oh I have to keep them in you know they're really bad so I kind of take a leaf out of their book a little bit um, but where I have obviously had this bad chest I didn't want to be running also I don't want to be spreading it like going to play groups and stuff so Although, like, we've just missed so many playgroups this term already, and we went to the one on Friday, and I wanted to get back to this one today, but that's how it is. I'm waiting for the postman as well, so um, maybe we'll just take a little walk out to the park or something in a bit, and we'll do some nice fun activities at home. You probably don't need as much as this, you can just put in however much you like, really. Just try a little bit, and see how you like it. You might like it stronger, you might like it less strong. Maybe try small amounts just in case it has an effect on your body as well. Um, with these kind of things, it's good to start out small and see how you get on and then gradually build up. I'll probably leave this now, put this in the fridge, see how I get on if I have any tummy issues or anything and then if not come back to it later. I might even water it down so just take a bit out of this every time I have a glass of water. I think that would be a really good idea actually and I think it's quite strong so there would still be enough flavour in each glass of water to make it really nice um, and then it will last you quite a long time as well. Definitely give this rosemary water a go, let me know how it goes and let me know if you've tried anything similar with any other herbs or anything. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked this video. Please give it a thumbs up and hit the red button to subscribe and press the bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I have lots more exciting videos planned so stay tuned, bye!